Queensland Q&I Resources has decided to uh, donate $75,000 to Townsville Gymnastics. You know, uh, our groups had a strong history of supporting this community from 2009 into 2016. We donated over $20 million to local organisations. And as you know, with the refinery um, aiming to be reopened and with the, our fortunate economic success of our own oil projects in Western Australia, our companies are flushed with funds and keen to inject them in the Townsville, Townsville community. Um, not just from making money out of selling nickel or cobalt, we're keen to inject it in all of the community. Not just for a profit, but for the better lives of all the people that live in this community. Not just for ourselves and people who are alive today, but for future generations. And Townsville Gymnastics does a wonderful job in giving people the discipline and the goals and the objectives and the abilities to achieve, that they know that they can do things. Now, it's too long Townsville has been full of people that says what you can't do. We've got to concentrate and think on what we can do. And I think they stand as an excellent example for the whole community of what this, uh, this uh, city can achieve. Most recently at the uh, state championships, they performed exceptionally well against so many people. And they deserve our support. They deserve the support of everyone in the community so that this community, at least in gymnastics, can hold its head up high. I'm looking forward to the day, and it won't be too long in coming, when this city can hold its head up as, as the best city in all of Queensland, not just on the sporting field, but in the economic field, where families here can have a rising standard of living, a higher income and a more prosperous future. It doesn't matter how long the road goes. I, today I moved to Townsville. I've settled on my property in Townsville. I've been very busy out buying things in the community to make sure that I spend my money here in Townsville. I encourage everyone to do so. And, and waiting for the day when this city can rise again and claim its place in the sun. So I'd like to just present, have we got a check here, Darren? I think you've got a check, have you? We do. We, I'd like to present a check here for, to uh, Townsville Gymnastics, to Len, Kirsty and Ariana. Ariana. Get some shots of that if you like. Possibly. Yeah. Can you say something? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, just like to thank uh, Mr. Palmer, uh, just on behalf of Gymnastics Townsville for this grant. It will take the club. Uh, it will definitely help the club to where we want to go in our future, uh, and it will yeah make our club a lot stronger and uh, really just I don't know just bring a lot of benefits thanks to this donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Uh, um, I guess that concludes things for the donations, but. You might have some other questions you want to answer me. I want me to answer, I should say. I'm more than happy to do that and accommodate you if I can. Has anyone got any questions? Uh, yeah. My missus was in town over the weekend. Uh, he said that you should pay your debts. What's your response to that? Well, I'd certainly agree with that. Anyone should pay their debts. But, of course, I have no personal debts in Townsville at all. As Jenny Hill, the mayor of Townsville, found out and issued me with an apology for saying the same sort of things. You can't expect Malcolm Turnbull, the Prime Minister of Australia, to know the ins and outs in everybody's bank account. But what's most important, and I think the Prime Minister would agree with me, is that we get people working in this town. Do you know the federal government pays around about $140 million a year in social security to the Townsville community? Do you know there are generations of people in Townsville that have been unemployed and their children are unemployed and they've got no hope for themselves in the future? We've got to concentrate on the here and now and make it happen. I don't see people queuing up to put cash into the Townsville community. I've got the cash. I want to put it in the Townsville community. I want to see the growth that we deserve happen in this city. We don't want to be a team of knockers. We want to say, how high can we set our goals and how quickly can we get there? Do you feel like you've been welcomed back into the Townsville community? Well, I certainly were today. I, I think uh, uh, if, you, if you judge the number of self selfies you requested to be given, I was about 53 selfies today. And um, I think I had about five people say, give it to them, Clive. I don't know what they wanted me to give to them, but I'll certainly uh, try to accommodate them in the next few, few, few weeks or something. But they, I think I have been welcomed back, yeah, for the most unpopular person in Townsville. I've had a fantastic welcome. But what a great place to be. Magnetic island, sunshine, wonderful people, great food. It's a wonderful community. I'm happy to be here. Well, of course, we were the biggest employer in, in North Queensland, right? We um, produced the most exports. 
And of course, it's not really important what people say. What's important about me, I don't particularly matter. I'm 65 years old. I was looking forward to a, a life of croquet and bowls, you know, down the Gold Coast. But what, when I realised the, the problems in this city and the necessity to get it going again, I was more than happy to contribute to the community. I haven't got a long career ahead of me, but the whole thing really should be about public service. And public service has no reward. History is its only reward. And that's what we all should think about, what we can do in our community to make the lives of other people's better. There are 3,000 jobs, according to Townsville Enterprise, 2,750 in their report in 2009 that the refinery was responsible in North Queensland. And I think it would be a good thing to have those jobs in, in Townsville now. And I've already said that as soon as we can get access to the port, we'll immediately, not, uh, not, not uh, an hour later, but immediately employ 100 men immediately on full-time jobs and we'll want to build up again so we can get 3,000 jobs here in North Queensland. That's not a feasibility study, that's not a project that doesn't happen, that's not bringing people from Brisbane to build a stadium in Townsville to create employment. That's a promise and that's what we'll do. And I'm here in my community making sure that it will happen. You've embarked on a fairly significant TV and radio advertising campaign in the last couple of weeks. Mm. The people who are featured in those, are they average Townsvillians or are they old business associates or mates of yours? I don't know. I, I didn't meet some of them I didn't, hadn't met previously. Even the, even the workers out at Q&I I didn't know personally. Um, but actually the, um, the TV program you've seen really isn't that significant. You'll see more significant things happening in the next year as more and more um, action will happen in this city to make people in Australia realise how significant it can really be. How important that Townsville is to not just Queensland but the whole country. And that's maybe the reason Malcolm Turnbull rushed up here yesterday. You know, in my life, I've done a lot of things internationally in Europe and the United States. There's a whole lot of places where I could go, but there's not a better place on earth to be than Townsville today because the challenge is there. The lights on the hill, we've got, to, we've got to ignite it like a torch and get this city really moving. And you know we can do it. We've got to wake up the sleepy giants that live in the Townsville City Council and see if they can get off their ass and do something. That's what we've got to do because we can do a lot in this community. Look at these kids here. Look how they're all training and practising. How many unionists are sitting at home with a beer watching rather than doing, right? We want to get out there and do something. Any more questions? Well, we did. They're, they're leaving the unions as fast as they can. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> can you imagine unionists stopping people from being employed? Forget about Clive Palmer. Forget about him. Think of yourself. Think of the kids, mum and dad at home, food on the table. Those things don't seem to matter to some of these people or what happens in the future. It's not about politics. It's about a better life for people. But, as I said, it's about gymnastics today and we all love it. One more question? You said you've settled on your property in Townsville. When, yep. when are you going to open the door and move in? Well, I've opened the door. I moved in there. I was at uh, Harvey Norman today. You can have a talk to Harvey Mo Norman. They were one of the people, their manager, taking my picture. He said it would be on his website, uh, showing that Clive spends his money in Townsville. And he gave me a big welcome. I then went down to Watermark Restaurant on the Strand. I had a number of ladies there that uh, wanted to have some selfies taken. I accommodated them. And I had a fantastic meal. Much better than I would have gotten old Brisbane, you know. And really, North Queensland's got so much to offer the world and we've got to make it happen. All right, thanks very much. God bless Australia.